Hi there, it's Karen here, also known as Crafty Little Miss K. And today I am bringing you this cute little box that's a little table favour. And I this is part of my challenge I'm doing for the month of October. And that is to use a stamp set three different ways. So the stamp set I chose was Butterfly Gala. And I love butterflies. And um, so my projects have been, the first project was a birthday card. Uh, and that was for my best friend because she loves butterflies. And that there's a picture of that on my blog, which there'll be a link to down below. Then the second uh, challenge I did was I was making a little jewellery box. And if I just bring one in that's actually got the item in it. So these are all using the Stampin' Up! in colours for 2019 uh, to 2021. And they've got bookmarks in them, lovely bookmarks. And these are little glass balls with little petals inside. Um, and I've made two of these because I am going to a craft retreat and I wanted to take a couple of special gifts for a couple of special ladies who are going to be there. Okay, so that's those. Those are nice little jewellery boxes. And then these are going to be table favours for the craft retreat I'm going to. So this is my third project using the butterflies. And um, I'm making lots of these so I could give everybody a, a cute little treat. So apart from the stamp set, I've, I've used a one inch circle punch. And that's to do the circle here. There's a one and one eighth scallop circle punch. And that's to do the glimmer paper. If I just show you, because I've actually punched a piece out ready to put on. Um, so that's the glimmer paper, a pretty, pretty little sparkle. And then somewhere on my desk, here it is, is the butterfly all ready to go. All I've got to do is stick it onto the glimmer paper and then put some Wink of Stella just to bling up the wings. Because I don't know if you can actually see that in the light, but those, it comes up as shiny, I think, as far as I can tell. But it's actually quite, it's pretty because it's all glittery. Okay, so inside, if I move everything out of the way. So inside the uh, little case a little box and this is there's there's no cutting once you've cut the piece of paper to size which I've done here for the for the project I'm going to do today uh, once you've cut it to size there is no more cutting okay it's a self-closed box once you've uh, glued the side down there um, you can you can put a little glue dot in there that I was inspired by a lady called um, Angie Judah who's also known as chicken scratch and this is the thing I saw on Pinterest. And I was looking for tiny little treat boxes. Um, and these caught my eye because she's used the, um, the butterflies like I did. Like I'm going to use. And so thank you very much Angie for the, your inspiration. I've ordered her measurements slightly. So my measurements won't be the same as hers. Because I've made my box slightly smaller. <coughs> Excuse me. But you open up in the same way. And inside are a couple of little Tic Tac cases. Okay. So... Like I said, these are little table favours for the other ladies who are going to the craft retreat today. So let's get started, shall we? So you need a piece of designer paper, which is, and this is really good quality paper as well. It's, it's quite thick. You know, it's not flimsy like some of the stuff you can get. So you need a piece of paper which measures five and a half by three and a half. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do a few little score lines. Okay, so... So it's half an inch, so which is there, and then one and three quarters, and then three, and then four and a quarter. Turn it around to the short side, and then it's three eighths of an inch, and one. Turn it all the way around, and then it's three eighths of an inch, and then one. Once you've done that, go back to this side again with the smaller piece just there come in again and then I want you to just one and an eighth you just score down to the first score line just a tiny little one there and also at three and five eighths then flip, flip it over to the underside so you get the measurements in the same place and again it's one and an eighth down to the first score line and then three and five eighths down to the first score line so you, I don't know if you can actually see this, I'll do it on this side here, you can actually see maybe there, the score lines, just this very short score lines, top and bottom, here, 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 okay? And that's just to help you to do the little bit in there, the little triangular bit in there, because there's no more scoring to do, okay? So let's get this all folded up ready. So, um, 
Yes, this has been interesting, this challenge. I've not done this before where I've just I've just done lots of projects other than like maybe a, a multitude of cards or something. But I've not actually done three different things, although technically I suppose a box and a, and a box isn't really three different things, but I see it as a table favour and a jewellery box. Um, yeah, so three different ways of using the same stamp set. And it's made me stop and think of how I want to use the, st the stamps that I've got. Okay, so let's bring those over. That's the the ones for this project so on that narrow panel here I'm going to put some tear and tape on you can use glue if you want to but normally I do I usually use wet glue but just for quickness I'm going to be using this and then what we'll do is we'll start sticking it together and that is the only adhesive you need unless you want to put a little glue dot in there just to hold or a couple of little glue dots in there just to hold those closed but it sits quite nicely closed it's, they are slightly gaping but only very very slightly and I can always give them a little tweak like that before I um, put them on the table at, uh, on Saturday yes I'm travelling up to the Midlands I live in the southeast of, it, of England and I'm travelling up to the Midlands tomorrow to meet up with some lovely ladies who I've met at Stampin' Up! events and then we're going to, or a few of us are going to go on to the, the craft retreat afterwards. Okay, so once you've got your little box here like this, those make sure you're using the part where it's got the little score lines and just pinch until it meets at the top like that. And then just give it a pinch, a really nice strong pinch, and then push to do that. Okay, same this side, little pinch. Okay, I don't want to bend that bit. Let's try that again. Okay, so a little pinch. Once it meets, hold it together and then just give it a little push just to do those little lines there. And that's it. That's it done. All you've got to do then is decorate. So let's pop in my little treats that I've got, the little tic tac, mini tic tacs. Oops, they do fit. Like I said, I've made this slightly smaller than the one that Angie did on hers. Um, so that it fitted these because um, hers was slightly bigger. I think hers took a, a Ferrero Rocher, which may get in there, but I think it's a little, because it's a little narrower um, this way. Hers was more square. Okay, so once that's done, you'll get your, I mean, like I said, I've pre-done some of this. So you've got your glimmer paper, which is the one and one eighth circle, scallop circle, and then your one inch circle. And I've just mounted this up onto a dimensional, a mini dimensional underneath there and some glue on there and then just made sure the wings are sitting upright. So it's glimmer paper, very, it's very um, awkward to glue to any, anything to it. I find that the glue dots work the best. Some people say that the foam pads do, some people say that wet glue does. I actually just prefer using the glue dots. And it's a, it is a personal preference, it's entirely up to you what you use, but we want to make sure, I'm only gonna put three little dots on there, and make sure that that sits nicely on there and then it's going to get my fingers underneath the butterfly and it's a bit easier to do this because the, the dimensional is there sitting up a little bit and just squeeze all the way around until I know that's stuck and there we go so and then just to put it straight on there I am going to use some wet glue if I can find it there it is and then once that's on, I can put the Wink of Stella on and that'll be it done. So I'm just going to place it right in the middle and then just press down gently so I don't crush the box because at the end of the day it, it is paper, it's not card, even though it's really good paper. And there we are, all done. So let's just get my Wink of Stella down. I love this stuff, it just adds that really subtle glitter to everything. There was a lady in my craft class the first time she used it, she actually went, ooh. <laughs> so obviously she went and bought some. Okay, so there we are. And I'll need a few minutes just to dry off. So there we are. It's all done. Really quick and easy. Really sweet little boxes. And like I said, I've made tons already. I've got them in a little gift bag in here. Lots of different ones. All the different colours. Um the blue and the green one there we go all the different colors and they've all been winked of Stella to the there to as far as I can you know loads and loads and loads I might go over that one again that one's a bit subtle on there 
so there we are so move this out of the way so yeah i've got a bunch of these all ready for the ladies who i'll be meeting on saturday and yeah i hope you like it nice and quick um, if you need any if you'd like to have any of these products they are available from Stampin' Up and if you look on my blog I've got a little link to the Stampin' Up shop where I get named as your demonstrator which means um, I can send you a little thank you gift if you spend more than £30 I'll send you a little thank you gift um, there is a restriction to because I live in the UK you can only order from me if you live in the UK or certain countries in Europe if you live further afield than that then you'd have to go to your own country um, to buy the supplies thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it hope you have a go let me know bye bye for now